Welcome back to the Group Chat Podcast. I'm your co-host, Mario with the Cam. Here with my other co-host, Rich. And the phony. And we would like to just say thank you for watching the other episodes. And if you haven't watched the other episodes, what is you doing? And while you're here, you might as well yeah. subscribe, like, do that. comment, Got turn to. on your post notifications. You need to see when we post them. You know what I'm saying? We're posting that quality content. You know what I'm saying? And you never know. Maybe we'll have a, you want to, you know? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maybe bro. you want to watch hey, some more. Hey, bro, I'll let you keep that one. Yeah. I'll let you keep that one. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey, on that note, get on, on that cop. So the first topic we had today is like a really controversial thing among serious and, topic. Uh, yeah, yeah, real serious topic. Uh, usually among the women, but it happens to men too. The colorism topic. Um, it, I feel like it's kind of both, bro. Yeah, it's definitely both. Yeah. It's definitely both. Hold on, let me. Yo, why? why? Yeah, we go good. ahead. So, so like, so, so before, before, I feel like, like I should know, know what colorism is, is first. So colorism, colorism is basically like, like discrimination or like. Pushing off against, against like people with like darker skin, skin or that that's based on like of any, any like skin tone, tone like it happened to like lighter people, people darker people, people, but most likely happens to darker people, people, really. For real, for real. Um, so my thing on the whole colorism subject, I feel as if like it's just it's very it's very real, but then again, when people try to force it, it's a different type, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like all right, so let's say funny, you know what I'm saying? You being a dark skinned male, right? And both, well, actually, yeah. actually, both of y'all being, you know what I'm saying, dark skinned males, right? <laughs> so I know sometimes, especially during like elementary school, the butt of the joke was, yeah. African you booty scratch. Yeah, yeah. African you booty scratcher from me, you especially. Yeah, you, know you from Djibouti. Yeah. All this hey, Djibou- hey, I ain't even gonna catch that. I used to be my favorite gen. I used to hit me. I, you know what I'm saying? I was never one of the people to jump, bro. <laughs> right. As soon as the lights turned school. off. Where Reggie go? Anxiety went all the way up. Where Reggie at? But nah, I feel as if like, all right. So from my question for y'all is yeah. like, did y'all really experience it like at a young age, and did it get bad, or did it get, you know what I'm saying? Did it progressively get better, or did it progressively get worse? See, for me, like in elementary school, like it really wasn't there, like nobody was really talking about it for me in mm-hmm. elementary school. But once I hit middle school, that's when everybody was Jonah. And I got blindsided. Like, I was like, oh, what you mean? I'm dark. Like, what you, like I know a dark skin. But I was like, dang. Yeah, not, yeah. Exactly. But, like, then, like, I took it, like, in a, in a harsh way. But, like, that's why, like, I see all these people, like, bashing and all that. Because, like, they, 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 they received all that hate. Right. Like, then they end up hating themselves. Like, for me, like, I, I love myself. So, like, when people, like, make jokes, like, like only people I'm cool with, like, like, these, like, <laughs> like, him, like them right there like like they can joke about it because like i mess with them heavy and like they know like i'm not like battling like with depression or all that so, like, right but they before know, like, it's certain boundaries and even yeah. as a friend if you're joking with somebody it's certain boundaries you don't cross you know what i mean so go ahead yeah. i just want to say i mean but for mine i really ain't like other than the african booty scratch to so, like <laughs> kindergarten and stuff that's really it for you know what i'm saying because <laughs> i'm not that dark yeah. You know? Yeah. But still, bro, like if probably if I lived in like Virginia or something, mm-hmm. it would have been a little Yeah, bit. it would have been a little bit worse cuz they light skin and white over there. I f- yeah. bro, I mean, bro, I feel like that goes the same thing for people who come up with this thing called I mean, it's not really come up with but like fatophobic. Definitely. I feel like fatophobic. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's <clears throat> All right, y'all might think I'm wrong for this, but bullying works. Okay, bullying. I, it can work it, in, it, in certain, certain cases. Know, in certain certain cases, as bullying isn't bullying. It's like you know, what I'm it's like, like like how you said he was all like you you suck, so it helps uh, you get better. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like like a certain boundary to it. Yeah, just you know like, what don't I'm cross that line. Yeah, though. like don't put your yeah. don't put your hands on nobody. Yeah, bro. that's that's yeah, it's a difference between yeah. becoming prejudiced and actually yeah. trying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Letting somebody know. Yeah, but you're not gonna let somebody know saying, "Bro, you're fat." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You're not gonna say that. Yeah. You're huge. I used to, bro. I used to get. Oh my god. I'm but if they great, ask you, bro. if they ask you a question and you're honest with them, mm-hmm. respectfully, then yeah. yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Constructive criticism, man. Mm-hmm. Basically. Yeah. So back like, on the colors like and talk. When I, oh, when I go walk around in the gym in the weight room, like bro, look at my legs, food. They're like, nah, them jokes are not big. You, you just fat? Nah, I'm just skinny. Skinny. Bro, my legs, fool. I got, I got chicken legs, bro. Y'all should. Fool, I don't know. I think I got my legs got smaller, dude. <laughs> like my legs got smaller. I got bro. chicken legs, bro. I got small legs. It is veiny. Fool, <laughs> <laughs> all right. We all talk. Yeah, all right. we all talk. We all talk. All right. So the colorism subject. Okay. So um, 
going around like people are like getting canceled and boys a lot of boys right. Right. Like, that, like that Go dude down. on TikTok yeah okay yeah, we can bring yeah, up yeah. that yeah. situation because I'm pretty right. sure we all seen that video so there was a guy on TikTok he was just literally doing an experiment you know what I'm saying so this girl she was um dating this white guy right and she was just like um, there was a video collage where she, she was all like, it was like black, no, Hispanic, no, all this and that. And it was white. And he was all like, all this and that. She got to explain him right. how she was with her little boyfriend. You know what I mean? Yeah. That had nothing to do with me. I wasn't really too worried about it, right? Until a boy did the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. And received so much backlash. No from cap. I feel as if, if you're going to hold somebody accountable, you got to hold both, both sides. sides accountable. But he was, the only difference... Was he was actually being for real though? Like he doesn't like dark. Women. Oh no 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 no! I saw I saw one where he was um, maybe we saw two different videos. Yeah, but I I'm saw talking one. about this light skinned dude. This light skinned dude. It was like him and like three other friends. You know, it was a dark oh, skinned oh, friend oh, yeah, too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that video too. I ain't seen like that. they were singing to the song, and when they stopped singing, they were like, oh yeah, song. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw that video too. They right. was being legit. Yeah, I, I I saw that, and that's to me that's very disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It's certain things like. You know what I'm saying? Like, dark skinned women. I saw this one dark skinned woman. I would marry a dark skinned But at the girl. same oh time, it's preference, bro. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's a difference food. between preference yeah. and prejudice. You know yeah. what I mean? And like, you, you can have, have a preference, but like, don't disrespect the people that right. you have a yeah, preference. Yeah, exactly. Because this one guy, when he was doing it, he was like doing it for the experiment, and he was all like, yeah, um, I just, I'm with this girl, such and such. Black girls know. He did the same video that mm-hmm. the other girl did, right? Yeah. And he was all, she was all like, everybody in the comments was, oh, you're a colorist, all this and that. I mean, the girl literally just did the same thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody we can't, said you know what I'm saying? Y'all want it, we, we want equality too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that goes the same thing for people who like, fatophobic, who people say mm-hmm. fatophobic, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a bit, I, I don't know. I, I, I like, I like anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not prejudiced. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Being, yeah, so nice. being somebody from like, like you know I what I'm like. saying? Both, like both like. worlds. You know what I'm saying? You got to see, you know what I'm saying? Both perspectives. But the thing is, it's a certain line of like yeah. disrespect. And like yeah. what I saw in that video with the three boys. Yeah. That, that was, was downright wild, disrespect. That was just straight up wild. I, I ain't never seen. I mean, I, of course I see. You see stuff like that on the internet. On the internet. Oh, so yeah. Bro. When it came down to crunch time. It was like they were going on. They were like, I mean, at, after all, it's our preference, this, that, and the third. But we're sorry, this, that. They weren't being serious. Yeah, they weren't. You're but they were sorry. being. They were being. Right. Definitely I feel serious. like you know how like elementary school light skins was the trend, and like now dark skins are the trend. I feel like brown skin. Like what dudes okay. are the tables be turning, bro. <laughs> what uh, dudes are doing, like they following the trend. Like if they see everybody saying dark skin girls ugly, dark skin girls then they nasty, just gonna go with it. Like they're not alpha males. They. Doing what everybody else is doing, following yeah. the crowd. I just, I just don't get that whole thing of how you can hate someone. Like, it's like someone just off of their skin color, or you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Most likely, like, but like a lot of these girls, like, and a lot of these models, that some of them, like, if you look at a real model, you mm-hmm. see a dark skinned woman. Nine times out of ten, you see a dark skinned woman. Yeah, and, you know what I'm saying. A, a girl that's not really light, light skins, like, you know what I'm saying. They're cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Like everybody is cool, but I feel as if like. Dark skins get the worst, like like they always get the butt of the joke. Bro. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'll compliment a dark skin girl and she'll be like, Are you serious? Like people don't yeah, usually that's, compliment that's, me. Like like that's happened before, fool. Like I think we should that's definitely something that needs to be changed, but also we need to hold both sides accountable. Right. If a woman is being disrespectful towards a black man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a dark skinned male, you know what I'm saying? Women, please defend them. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, let's get into this talk too. Because mm-hmm. people say that black men don't protect black women. Yeah, I heard and that that's before. not always true. That's not always true because you know a, a real black, like, me and Fonny agree yeah, on this, and I'm pretty sure a real man is going to defend a woman in, 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 in a situation. Yeah, regardless. Yeah, regardless. You know regardless. what I mean? Like, even if we know the woman, we don't. That's our sister, our mm-hmm. mom, our aunt. It don't matter. A exactly. real man is going to defend a woman. Nine times out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just feel as if that is not right if we don't go above and beyond for our black <laughs> queens, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Because like, I'm going to keep it 100, bro. I don't see myself being with somebody that's not black. I don't even like, like, it's, it's not against y'all. Yeah, yo, permanently. Bro, it's just, yeah, yeah. Nah. I can't marry. I mean, I don't know, bro. Just me. I feel like I'm going to end up marrying somebody. I'm not dissent. Bro, I think I'm going to end up marrying a dark skin. I need me a little Reggie. No cap. No cap. No cap. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boo. No cap. Wow. I, I just, I just want a woman that understands my day to day struggle. Like if I, like Dr. Umar Johnson was talking about this, right? And I, and I was all like, dang, he look, he's speaking facts. Like mm-hmm. if I go out there and I get harassed by the cop, right? And I'm with a white woman, she'd be like, oh my God, what did you do? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of. Instead wow. of a black woman being like, "Oh my God, baby, I understand." You know what I'm saying? Let's let's talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's able to ease my trauma. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Somebody that I can relate to because yeah, if she can go out at the same time and the th- same thing happened to her, but like a white woman, the same thing may not yeah, happen. Yeah, it to might her. not happen. It may not happen to her, and she can't she can't relate. And that's somebody like that's really the end goal to be with somebody that you can relate to, somebody that you love, somebody right. that you really want to be with. Somebody who your soul resonates with. Right. That's the that's the term, bro. Facts. I'm trying to have my soul resonate with yours, baby. What's up? What's up? When you say, hey, when you say that to a girl, I bet that. I bet that. I bet that. I bet that that's like plus 10 points right there. That is. That's Let me resonate two, your soul, baby. That's a plus a hundred. That's, that's a plus a hundred. That's, that's free jazz. That's free jazz. Oh, my fault. Come on, OG. Come on. Oh, that's my life. That's my life. He wildin', Jip. He wildin'. That's free jazz, though. You know what I'm saying? You see how he do me. Go ahead. (laughs) But yeah, that whole (laughs) whole topic. So now to the fatophobic thing Mm -hmm. and the bullying. I feel as if, like, bullying, in my case, helped. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like bullying tends to help people who are not weaker-minded. You know what I'm saying? But like when you see somebody who is down and you know what I'm saying, like who's already low, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. You can't kick a dead horse. Yeah, you can't kick a dead horse. You gotta know which one to do. Like I feel as if like when people do that, that just like people. That's the definition of bullying. That's evil. Yeah, that's evil. Yeah, that's that's evil. And that's projecting your insecurities on other people. Exactly. Bro. Like usually nine times out of ten, bro, the bully is usually being bullied or you my know parents, what I'm saying. My parents always told me, bro, if somebody's talking about you, you know, or pointing something out about you, that means that they like it. Mm-hmm. More like, you know what I'm saying? They wish they had it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like once my mom told me that, bruh, I kind of like started easing up. Because in middle school, bruh, I was not the best, in the best shape, bruh. <laughs> Mentally and physically. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so they had to, they had to, uh, you know, I just like talking to my parents and all that. They were just like, just chill, you know, chill out a little bit. Cool. I can definitely relate to that. And oh my God, a matter woman? Nah, I wasn't uh, that it bad. was ruthless. No, bro. It, it was at ruthless at Man or Woman. I'm talking, bro. I'm talking. Boy, you said something? Yo, fat. <laughs> 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 it it was the bro. worst. It wasn't like and that's that. What, that's anymore. what made me have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Not, like, just make me have to think and be like, you know what, bro? You better start fighting back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. when I had to learn how to jone and maneuver yeah. and say certain things. Nah, if you live in you the DMV, t- bro, you got to know how to jone. Yeah, bro. That, I feel like that just comes with the lunch table, bro. Like, <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything, talk, bro. Yeah, eating at a good lunch even table going to teach you how to jone. Exactly, bro. bro. And even if you have on a fly fit, yeah, you boy, your head still <laughs> nappy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, like, bro, you can have on the best fit. got to make sure you in tip top shape. Like, bro, any, like, like your P's and Q's. <laughs> Any any type of sh- shape or fashion food, you gonna get roasted regardless. Regardless, you but got like the best clothes. Bro. Like if you was too skinny, boy, yo skinny. Just right, bro. Right. You too big, right. yo fat, bro. <laughs> and even if you was in the middle, bro, yo <laughs> middle chubby, like you know, you in the middle. <laughs> Why <are> you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> Oh, bro. that used to be the scapegoat. I ain't even gonna count. I ain't even gonna count when somebody used to jump on me, get me good. Somebody laughing, bro. Why are you laughing, my G? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that they both team up, start yeah, bro. Getting getting bullied, really. I mean, not necessarily bullied. It's not, bro. It's just Jonah, bro. I mean, but somebody uh, who didn't live in the DMV, oh my god, walked, they would understand. It's their first day in the DMV, and they like. Freshman year, bro. Oh my gosh, they're gonna hate themselves. I really started joining in like elementary. Elementary? Yeah. No, I wasn't joining in elementary. I was joining. I, I, I was cool always enough. the little funny guy. Now, I was like, bro. It, all right. So before, I would try to like purposely make the class laugh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But now, more such like I'm really like just talking to my friends and what happens mm-hmm. to come out comes exactly. out. You know exactly. what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not me. Like yeah, when you forced it, like yeah. bro, I used to force it all throughout middle school, bro, and I could tell some people didn't like me. 
And that would, and that would just fuel my fire because I'd be like, oh, you ain't like me. I'm going to pop some more jokes. Like, bro. <laughs> it's been like, all right, so like in middle school, bro, I was nowhere near a ladies, man. I used to be like, no, bro. Oh, my no God. Jazz. I used to get no, no jazz. Bro. No type of girls, bro. So like if a girl would laugh at my joke, I would feel so, so like good. the man of the year. Bro, hey, the next day I would, I would make sure I put my, put my freshest fit. In a washer and dryer. <laughs> cargo Come to school. Bro. Bro, 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 the cargo. All right. So my, <laughs> so my first day of school fit, right, in like sixth grade was like. <laughs> it was like. Bro, the, bro, yeah, this pose, bro. Funny, I'm going to see you the picture, bro. You got to put it I'm like going to put that girl up there. All right. So, <laughs> so my fit, the cargo pants with like the with like crinkle at the bottom, right? And then I had the Roshis. I thought I was fine. I remember the Roshis. I, 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 I know what you I've seen that fit before. He said Roshis. I've seen that fit before. I used to always come to school I in that see. fit, bro. And I used to be like, oh, yeah, she laughed at my joke. She going to see me tomorrow. She going to see me tomorrow. And I'll never forget, bro. So this one girl, like, I asked out, right? And this was just me off the strength of being funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? I asked her out. We talking for, like, a day, two days. And then she goes to my locker and breaks up with me. So I was all like, dang. <laughs> a day or two. Dang. Yeah, bro. That one of them jokes that hurt, fool. Like, I was all like, dang, I really love this girl, man. Sixth grade, we was on kick. Cool in it. You hear me? Kick, I remember bro, kick. We days. get, kick I get in the OC. class, bro. I tell my men, like, you know what I'm saying? Me and no girl broke up, bro. It was all like, dang, how you feeling, fat boy? Oh, <laughs> And that's how y'all gonna treat Ruthless, me, bro. No matter what, bro. If, but I'm gonna say it so many times it's over, bro. Bullying works, bro. I'm sorry, it does. Certain bullying, certain yeah. bullying. Oh, not all right. It's if not, you put your hands up, what do you say? Words, 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 yeah. words, words, words. What he's saying is bullying. Don't mean like bullying. bullying. Yeah, he don't mean yeah. bullying. He means like just, just like constant. Picking on, right. picking on somebody. Oh, right. You know. picking yeah. on, you picking on me. Me constantly being picked on. Actually made me change for well, the, the right, right person, person though. Not everybody can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody. Yeah. yeah. When you pick on somebody weak minded, it shows that you are weak in your own head. Yeah. Like when I see somebody try to pick on, um, like I had a friend Sergio. Like you know what I'm saying, hey, Serge. Sergio. He moved to Florida, and somebody tried to pick on him for reading a book, and he was reading a book at the back of the bus, <laughs> and it just made me so mad. Like I ended up, I ended up crying, bro. And this was like, this was like, like seventh or eighth grade. I ended up crying, and this dude, we was on a bus. And I was all like, we got off the bus. And he, it was his stop. So I told him, get off at the stop, right? <laughs> he rode to the next stop because it was like, like, bro, that day, like, it was me, Dakari, Rasan, Noah, and it was like a whole bunch of us. And we all were just like, you ain't going to keep talking about Sergio on <laughs> this type of stop. way. Like, you know stop. what I'm saying? Because it's like, when you pick on somebody that doesn't defend themselves, right, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's like, it's nothing, just like, like, like what that's, that, that's what makes you weird. Yeah. That's <laughs> weird, buddy. That's like... Ugh, that just makes they, me they so back mad. Then, yeah, but back then, like, that gave you points, bro. Like, back then. Right. So, but I ain't, but I ain't, though, I ain't bro. doing it, bro. Why I, wasn't on, I wasn't on that kind of, you know what I'm saying? I used to get laughed at said, by. Bro. Oh, my God. I, I, I used to get laughed at by so many girls, bro. Like, I would think they would be laughing with me, but the whole time they was laughing at me, bro. Mm. Like, I'm talking about, like, so, there's been, like, a couple of cases where I, like, uh, some, like, like uh, somebody would join on me, right? Mm -hmm. And a girl be next to them, be like, "Oh my gosh, stop playing with him like that!" Ooh, and that me. that made it worse. It like, don't call him fat. He ain't yeah. fat. I got a lot of those. I got a lot of those. You ain't got to spit like a like that's what made it worse, bro. Like and getting shunned by Sometimes like girls. Be trying to push up on you though. Nah. When I want the one joint in the group, no. bro, that's defending you all the time. Man. No, bro, I got rejected too many times in middle school. I can't, I can't even count on my hands how many times I got rejected in middle school, bro. Dang. It was bad. I didn't even was bad. in middle school food. I didn't even tell. I already Did knew my struggle. Did you get rejected a lot in middle school, bro? Because I, I ain't going to smack at a lot of people. I know it wasn't my seventh grade year or eighth grade. I don't know. But I bagged like the baddest night. She was new. Mm -hmm. I bagged her for two weeks, bro. And then and weeks. two weeks, bro. So she left you. For your man, yeah, left me for my man. How, how did that one turn? <laughs> how did that one turn out, bro? I mean, it was nothing. Like, I was, I really wasn't good, bro. I was like my first girlfriend, fool. My first girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was nothing. 
<laughs> so have you so Reggie hasn't been in a relationship, but like have you ever like shot your shot ever and like air really, ball? I'm talking air ball. Nah, bad. That ain't never happened, bro. Ooh, all right, That's so I had this one, one little fit, right? I had an Aero Apostle hoodie, mm. skinny jeans, and some Tims. That was my, that was my go-to. That was my go-to. That was my this? go-to. You was in New York? When was this? It's like sixth, seventh grade, bro. No, why? Bro, that was my Instagram <laughs> profile picture and all that. It's one drink. She was like, we was in sixth grade. She was in eighth grade. Mm. Found her Instagram. I, I went smack base. I was like, what's good? Blah, 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 blah. She was like, send me a pic. Sent her the pic. She posted me. Like basically, like put me out there, fool. Like she was in eighth like, grade. Nah, she was like she was in eighth grade when we was in sister. <laughs> See, that's that's what you. My, my son up, had the Denver Nuggets jeans <laughs> on him. <laughs> my man's jeans. <laughs> I remember exactly what fit you're talking about too, bro. Oh my god, middle school that's had, no good, bro. bro. Middle school was some fun times, bro. The, I feel like the worst. My worst experience in middle school has to be the first day of gym class, like when we had to change into our gym uniform. Oh, my that, worst day oh, I know my picture. ever. And I was on the ground <laughs> like, yeah. That, yeah, no. Nah. That Ooh. was bad. Because that's when I was like chubby, like skinny fat food. So mm-hmm. I took my shirt off, people saw my boobs and all that. <laughs> it was just bad because it was, I, was, I thought Ooh. you were skinny. It was Jonah. So, uh, bruh, skinny. I don't know why, bruh, but. That was normal for me. I, I used to always take my shirt off when I was like, oh, he big, bro? <laughs> nah, not back then, bro. Like, bro, I used to always take my shirt off. But, like, any chance I got, bro, I remember in PE, like, a couple times. Mr. Wiser had to tell me to put my shirt on. Like, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. We used to be outside hooping, bro. Outside hooping, bro. Just take my shirt off, bro. <laughs> Nips out, belly out, everything, bro. Don't School, care. bro. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Did not care, bro. I was reckless. Bro, I remember that, too. It was, bro. Oh, my. Right, middle, right. That's how I was eighth grade. Like when we started lifting, oh my gosh! And my Snapchat memories, bro, I got so many like pictures and videos of me like flexing in the mirror. <laughs> that was swole as hell. Definitely not swole. <laughs> Definitely not, bro. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever taken like a shirtless pic and like been like, oh yeah, this the one. <laughs> like, bro, I had a, I had a picture, bro, I had a picture of me like, like straight. Probably like after I ate some pizza, bro. So mm-hmm. I had slick six slices of pizza, bro. And that was the caption of the picture, bro. Like what was I? And people was gassing me. Just had six slices. Marvelous. Hey, that's the exact <laughs> caption. Just My had six no slices. On. I was like this in the bathroom, like this. Had no shirt on, like. <laughs> I remember that. Bro, I remember that joke. I know that picture oh. with the new rag. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom going crazy. Ooh, 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 we gonna send you the pictures, bro. What we talking about? Bro, I'm gonna put them up. Please put this. Like, look at y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Dude, "Oh my bro, god, bro. great flex." But for real, great for real, flex. bro. Middle school was like a golden time, but like a bad time. Yeah, too. yeah. Only my funnest years, Transition. bro. Bro, my, I was low key stress free. I didn't it really. Was. I don't think I really had like a bad year in middle school, but like for mm-hmm. real, for real. Except for like like the bullying thing, like everybody was cool. And like that was only like a few, like probably a few months for me, and right. then that's when I started making a change with myself. Nah, that was all through middle school, bro. Like getting, like I was like I would see everybody else getting girlfriends, bro. Yeah. And I would just like the slightest chance that I had, like I never really had a real girlfriend up until like high, high school. school. Yeah, like right. you know what I'm saying. But like the middle school joints, I used to, bro. I'm telling you, I used to fiend to be like in a relationship. I'm like, oh yeah, you la- oh you laughing? What's up with you, shorty? <laughs> oh yeah, you look at me this type of way. You What's I'm up funny? with you? You think I'm funny? Like, bro, like it it, it got too cute. bad, bro. No- it, bro. I'm telling you, fool. Like, oh my god, and then no. being and then getting rejected just shot my confidence, bro. Like, like you'll get the kick, bro. Go smack on kick, add a whole bunch of, or you'll get her number. Add a whole bunch of emojis to her name. You want to go to the mall? She's like, mm, I, can't I don't think so. I don't think so. Think so. Bro, the mall was like where you showed your girl off. Bro. Bro, mom, you went to the mall. I never your, made that move. My mom would food. never let yeah. me go to the mall. Dang. You never Dang. made the like, mall move? Like, go to the mall with Dante and them? Like, who? Never. Never, never let me make home. that move. I used to always go to the mall, bro. I'm talking about, like, get the cut. Y'all want to go to the mall? <laughs> oh, bro. Like, I didn't I even have a group chat, bro. I had a PlayStation party chat. And I'll be like, bro, y'all trying to go to the mall? 
We would go to the mall. It would be me, Israel, Noah, Jaden. It would be a whole Ooh, bunch of Izzy's, Izzy's parents let him go to the mall. Yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> Izzy's parents got him on lock right now. Yeah, yeah. They used, to, they used to have him on lock a little bit. But, like, bro, it was a couple times where, like, just doing little things with the homies was, like, cool, bro. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was the friendships that I built in, like, middle school showed me, prepared me for, like, high school. Mm-hmm. And I was all like, some of these people I'm really not going to be friends with. You know what I'm saying? And that was all exactly. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because a lot of people lose track of themselves in high school. But mm-hmm. me being me, I can't lose track of myself. Mm-hmm. I can't afford to do that. You know speaking what I'm saying? That, speaking of that, the, the drinking and smoking. Oh, yes, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. So, that's like a crowd thing. Bro, bro. that's like, like going crowd. on that, bro. Like losing yourself. I can't afford to lose myself. You know what I mean? Like, right. especially with like a lot of a lot of y'all are too young to be drinking the way y'all are drinking. Like, and getting messed up the way y'all getting messed up. Like, yeah, it's yeah, too it. like y'all got too much ahead of y'all. But y'all rather pick up a henny bottle and a J. Like all of that for like what? Just like to what? post it on Snap. Like yeah, just to post it on Snap. And you know what I'm saying? And then you realize, you look back at that in a couple of years and you'll be like, bro, like, what was I doing? Food. And you're just going to be like, bro, like, I really started, kick this, I really started this addiction at this age. Right. And you're going to be like, bro, I should have just waited. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, stuff like that, like, can really mess up your brain cells. And, like, you, like, a lot of people say, like, that they can kick the addiction and they can stop it at any moment they want to. But that's to. not really true. That's not true. You're not, you really can't be addicted to, Weed, you know what I'm saying? Like it's proven you can't be addicted to weed. Uh, you get the features, but you can't. You can be addicted yeah, to, you the high, yeah, the to the high. feeling, to the feeling you yeah. get from it, mm-hmm. and that's what people mistake. You know what I'm saying? So you're still addicted. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you're yeah more I'm never gonna do it. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. And I've been in situations where I, you know what I'm saying, I could have, but no, I was like, nah. But, like, you know I just feel like that's, like, more not a thing for me. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? The path I'm going down, bro, like, I don't want to wake up in the morning and I got school right. and I'm pissy drunk. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? You don't that's, got time for that. Like, bro, like, yeah. like come on now. It's and nothing. That doesn't help you get back. That. Exactly. Yeah. People be glorifying that. Man, me and my man was drunk. We, Ooh, we was we lit. Was you know what I'm saying? There's a difference between, <laughs> there's a difference between <laughs> being, you know what I'm saying, having fun yeah. and just being downright Stupid. Yeah, you don't. You don't need drugs to have fun. I don't. Know. don't I know a don't, lot of people. Don't. And if you do, and if you do, I feel like as if there's more like a, a self. You're right. Like you got self re- yeah. self review. Yeah, you you gotta, know what I'm saying? Because like meditate. There, a lot of people like a lot. I, I know y'all can vouch for this. Like a lot of people say that like they get high to get rid of the pain. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's they get the, drunk to hide yeah, the pain. You know the that's thing. not that's not really gonna do anything but suppress your problems and add a new addiction exactly. on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Just do something make like, worse. Yeah. yeah. And if you are gonna you know what I'm saying drink and smoke at this age, please do it responsibly. Because when you do this, and we're at the age to where we can dri- start driving now, and when y'all yeah, start driving, don't hop in the car. Yeah. Fry, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Don't please, please don't do, that. Don't do, do that. Bro. Too. Exactly, because you don't want to get taken advantage. There's there is some there are some men out there who do not care how old you are. Exactly, free. exactly, and they'll, they'll have they'll give you the things to destroy yourself with terrible intentions behind it. So right. please watch who you're doing it with, and if one of your friends, you know what I'm saying, one of your so-called friends is is encouraging you to do. Some of these things. Yeah. Review that assess, person. Yeah, assess, yeah. Refuse that person. That relationship. Point. For real. Got to. For real. Because that it can only hurt you in the long <laughs> run, bro. And and I hope I hope none of my men. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know no, we all hold each other that. accountable. Yeah. You know what oh, I'm saying. Nice. And as a friend of somebody who is like who has an addiction or something like that, please try to help them kick that because that is only going to start bad habits. I feel really? like sometimes, bro, people just gotta. Read a book or go outside. Bro, exercise. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's like a lot of people like, like bro, a, a lot, lot of people don't be reading books or like nothing. Yeah, not even reading a book, but like watching the news, bro. Walk feeding your house. mind. Yeah. Feeding, feeding your, mind. your mind with something else other than bro. I got spark. Bro. I got spark, bro. Bro, I'm when I see, fly. when I was at this kickback, right? I'm, I don't, mm, I don't know if any of y'all was there, but I was at this kickback at one of my friends' house and. She was, you know what I'm saying? She had some things there, right? Yeah. And I did not partake in that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just not my scene. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, like, I go into this room and it's, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say any names, but it's me and some other people in there. You know what I'm saying? We're, I'm in here with this girl, like two girls, right? And we're just chilling, playing checkers. You know what I'm saying? Talking, passing the time. And I just, like, 
she just starts to get progressively even worse, like even more drunk. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, yo, I'm looking, I'm looking at like my friends, and they're just like, bro, she be, she just be doing this, bro. Like this is it's normal. A pro <laughs> and I'm like, bro, like. That is just so yeah, unattractive. It's not bro. attractive at all, like, ladies. There's like, a lot of things that just throw me off. Yes, bro. bro. Like, bro. Like on top of that, like just attitudes, bro. Bro, I think we should get into that. We we gonna get into that after we get <laughs> after we get done with like this. Like how we were talking in the first part. Bro. Yes. If you haven't watched it, definitely go and watch. You know. Big plug. Saying? Big plug. <laughs> big plug. OC plug. But yeah, like seeing her so drunk to where she couldn't even function. Really made me want to leave the room. You right. know what I'm saying? Because that, because if something would have happened to that girl that night, and she would have blacked out, and she would have saw me, you were responsible. I would have been the one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody oh, in that room. Yeah, everybody in that room is that. gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Held accountable, mm-hmm. even though her actions, you know what I'm saying, led her up to that point. Right. And I just feel as if like, when you do things like that and keep, you know what I'm saying, keep feeding bad into your body, mm-hmm. you're only bringing that bad energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, and when you keep like when you keep drinking too much, bro, and you just start to black out every day, and you start not to remember any parts yeah, of your day, it becomes and, a problem. Know, it becomes it a took big way too far. problem. It's way too far. Like yeah. it starts off with a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Then you on that. Then you on that Syrah. Then you on that Henny Life. Henny. I f- bro, for like probably for like a year and a half, I didn't even know that like hard lemonade was alcoholic. I didn't either. I, I'm, no just fine, I'm just fine. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, because they be advertising on TV like it's just lemonade or something. They don't say nothing about alcohol. Yeah, like, bro, I don't think, like, to me, like, thank God I'm very strong minded and my parents instilled in me, like, be your own man. Like, right. I'm, it's like, I'm not the type to fall to like peer pressure, mm-hmm. but I yeah, know like it, in, in high school, that's like a it's big, big thing. Big really thing. Big. I feel as if like sometimes, bro, like, when you getting peer pressure, bro, you just gotta have the mind will to just yeah. say no, cause you know what I'm saying. There's gonna be some times where people like, but people like, don't. That's that's yeah, that's that people weird, don't. That's people how the majority of people start smoking yeah. and all that yeah. peer pressure. Maybe all like, maybe all like, you want to pat, you yeah. want to smoke the J? I'm, I'm sure. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not here to judge nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm a little bit stronger. But I'm a, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all can do what you do as long as it's not. You know what I'm saying? Harming you at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And it's not like really messing up your motives. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a like there's a fine time to like, you know what I'm saying, drink and smoke. But mm-hmm. is this at this age? And then don't, don't force it on others. If you're gonna do it, leave it to you. Don't be like exactly. well, you gotta do this for me. Like yeah. that's your decision. Like, Everybody makes their own decisions. You gotta get this runs, gotta get this Zaza. <laughs> Obama. Boop, boop, Obama. Boop pack coming <laughs> in. Yeah, right. for PHA. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I know you gotta get it how you live, bro. But sometimes you you gotta think, bro. You can't destroy others. You know what I'm saying? To bring you yeah. bring bring in a couple of dollars, yeah, bro. That ain't nothing, bro. So getting into the turnoffs thing, like what are some big turnoffs? Not just from physical. smoking. Yeah, besides, I'm talking physical, besides being mental, a druggie, You know what I'm saying? All that. I just feel like this. Like I said, bro. That attitude, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, Definitely. Especially. Not attitude, because, I mean, every, a lot of girls, you the know, worst, y'all be sarcastic. Let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have attitudes. We do, too, sometimes. But I'm saying, like, the people who claim they're toxic, bro, like, oh, I'm like Do it this. on purpose. So they if you can't purpose. handle this, then you might as well. Like, why are you throwing that out there? <laughs> that like, is no, not cute. That's childish. That's you know very much so eternal. I can agree on that. Like, yeah, um, no cap. The attitude, bro. Oh, my God. I put up with a lot of things, but. Mari ain't gonna keep putting up with the attitude for too long. Man. Just, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because like, it's, it's gonna come to a point where your attitude is like, you know what I'm saying? That's a, there's a mood, but then it's gonna become disrespect. Mm-hmm. And I'm, and as a, you know what I'm saying? As a growing young man, I'm not gonna allow you to disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's, it's you can't do that. Because Underline if you don't respect, disrespect. yeah, exactly. Because if you don't respect me, what do you have for me? It's nothing. Exactly. It's nothing there. You know what I'm saying? And that is a huge That's turn why, off, bro. Yeah. Like before you catch an attitude, just reassess the situation. Mm-hmm. And if I'm wrong, assess me in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta come off as, uh, uh-uh, you, you, mm-mm, you doing this, you doing right. that. You could be like, I don't really like the way you approach this type of situation and did this da 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 da. But another turn off for me is just not keeping yourself well kept. You come outside with the Jesus sandals. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. But your pinky toe touching your big toe. 
Bro, sometimes you can't help that, bro. I'm t- no. I'm your t- pinky toe is the end toe. <laughs> I know. Your toe I, should I not know be like you, this. I, have you ever seen somebody's foot like that, fool? Bro, I'm th- just be throwing up four pf, bro. I swear. <laughs> I swear. You can just be with forty two Doug and all that. I'm here, bro. I mean, as long as it's not no disease or whatever. I mean, corns. Like, I understand, bro. I mean. Bro, I don't I mean, mean like keep, it's just, it's just keeping yourself like, low cap. Yeah, you know I, mean? I understand like, what he's saying. Wash your face, brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah taking care on. of yourself. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I don't think you wouldn't want me to be dirty. The you most wildest joint would probably be like, you got this super bad girl, bro, mm-hmm. and then you step into her house and it's dirty food. <laughs> that would be like. Because nah, I gotta make sure my room clean. That would be mind boggling food. Mind boggling. <laughs> oh. Uh, like, bro. not. I'm not saying like. But low key, like, like why would be so bad? Rooms, their rooms do be dirty though. Yeah, bro. All right, all right. See, look, bro. Your room be dirty? No, it don't. My, I used to sometimes. Don't. Sometimes, bro, like my parents. It's, like, it's me, but like my parents also be on me about that though. Facts. Yeah, my parents be on me. Facts. That's like I don't know, bro. My room really hasn't been dirty in a while, but I mean, it hasn't like, been. I don't know. There's bro. a difference between. I don't let it get out of hand. There's a difference between junky. And dirty, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Dirty is like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I got some clothes laying around. That's something that's mm-hmm. easy to pick up. When your room is junky, it's gonna take you a while. You to got clean. drawers <laughs> on your TV stand. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's wild. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Nasty. You know what I'm saying? You got the robe hanging off the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your door knob falling off. That's just, you know what I'm saying? That's just, you know what I'm saying? Some things that you can control, bro. Like the door knob falling like, off. Like, come right. on, bro. That's not valid. Like, keep yourself well kept. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you brought bro, another one. I know. I feel like. You did say this before. Like, we having a conversation with a girl, and, like, she not on your level, like, we're having a conversation. What you mean? Like, like if we having, like, a like an important conversation about, like, something, like, a debate or something, like, with the colors or something, uh-huh. you're not informed on it. Like, or just small stuff like that. Like, I can't have a simple conversation with you without you but having to dumb it down for you. Oh, she's I need not my girl to be smart. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. I need, my, like I said before, bro, my girl got to be smarter than me. Because, like, I've had... I've had like people that like women that I've talked to in the past mm. and I would use like a like a big word and they'll be like, Oh my god, like, what? what does that mean? <laughs> Shorty. Like it like, like I mean some in your I vocabulary. Use, I use a lot of words that people don't normally, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, normally say. Like I said the word gentrified and she didn't know what that meant. That's a problem, and that's a pro- that's, that's a, a big problem. problem. You know that's what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like, how don't you know what gentrification and you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, just please, just try to educate yourself. Like, you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, and that fries me. I'm like, and then she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't understand yeah. what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And I can see it, but I'm like, with me, I'm a, I'm gonna see how long you gonna lie to me. <laughs> Like I'm like she going she gonna keep being like, yup, yup, yup. I hear, I hear. I'm gonna be like, yeah. So what I say? Uh, huh? <laughs> exactly. Like my girl got to be a couple of steps ahead of me, bro. But to me, bro, I feel like for our our age, I feel like all of us are like mentally like up yeah. there. You yeah. know what I mean? Like compared to a lot of people. Yeah. Because we challenge each other and, with it. Yeah. We challenge each other and we stay away from the hype. Yeah. I feel like people are too much into the hype. Like you know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. Especially with this reselling I'm doing, bro. The fact that I just sold those shorts for hundred and fifty dollars, I know damn. I ain't well. buying no shorts. I ain't buying no shorts. I don't care if, if they glow in the dark for I'm not copping them down. Yeah, like a hundred and fifty. I mean, but people got money to blow. That's I mean, if you have money that's to day blow, then that's different. But people who are just in the hype, like this is what's big. I have yeah. to have it. Yeah. I ain't for all that. Following trends is yeah. kinda that I mean that just because you be follow trendsetter. following trends does not make be you trendy. Yeah, no. Nah. That makes you a wave hopper. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like nobody was like, nobody was rapping like Playboy and Uzi right. until it got popular. Until, the, until they like blew Playboy up. And then Uzi. everybody. You know not, everybody yeah. that, not everybody. Not everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, once you start that, like, once you get yeah. that, that's cool. what that's what real trendy is. Yeah, bro. bro. When you set the trend, when you become a trendsetter, bro, that's real. That's something to brag about. Like, you bro, know what I'm saying when when we when we was all like when we first started the, before the first episode even came out, right? And then everybody and started hopping and, on. Bro, like, should we make a podcast? Like, huh? Like, huh? Funny, yes or no? Huh? 
No, uh, we're not. Like, no, fool, <laughs> no, we don't. Like, like, like y'all so saw we post about that podcast. Yeah, it's like, like, on the that's way, just crazy. I mean, I'm that's just crazy. I mean, hopefully we spark some things. And right. you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we spark that. So, like, we inspire. Because we mm-hmm. will also, you know what I'm saying? That would be cool. Like, having yeah. a joint podcast. You know what I'm saying? That would be cool. But it's some things that, like, you know what I'm saying? They following the wave. Then there's just and like, come you, on, bro. Yeah, you jacking. Exactly. You ja- there's a difference. But, like, you totally jacking, bro. I mean, you just gotta wait and see. I, I mean, if they come out, if, I don't even know who Cuz was, but you know what I'm saying. If they come out with a podcast, I would I definitely su- watch I, it. I, I support it. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying. It don't take too much. To yeah, I'm never. I gonna just put, need. I'm never gonna. Put we we need down. our recognition. Yeah, facts. Like we even need the recognition. I mean, we have recognition, bro. But facts. I'm saying, even if, like, I don't know how to explain it. When Chase and I started doing the videos, mm-hmm. everybody started hopping on it. Facts. But we. When we speak to each other about it, it's not like, you know what I'm saying, we're putting these people down because they're doing what we did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, we're making sure that what we put out is better, better than theirs and two, they learn from us. Facts. Like, we reach out and tell them. You know what I'm saying? Like, what some oh, people... you could have done better. Like, constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. We're never going to bring anybody down. Exactly. Like, it's it's just like understand that. the fine line that people don't understand mm-hmm. is that, like, when you're doing something, bro, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when people talk about, like, um, like our mic issues. Sometimes we have mic issues. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's normal. But we, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tell us. Because we, we fix learning. it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we, we learn it. We gradually learn it. Like, I'm learning how to do new things. Fonny's, like, kind of like the expert in the whole thing. Like, he does the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Reggie's mm-hmm. learning some promotion skills. And we have, like, somebody else behind the scene, Brian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Brian behind the scenes. And Shout he's working. You know what I'm saying? Muscular Brian. Exactly. Big, big, <laughs> big, big, big stepper. <laughs> big stepper. But, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Once we all learn, you know what I'm saying? We can help others. Like, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, like, you trying to jack us. Exactly. Just ask us. And you know exactly. what I'm saying? It would be wrong if... We were, you know, like we saw them talk about the podcast. Should we make a podcast? And then we swipe up, giving them hate. Yeah, and th- like that would be that would be also us not even following exactly. on our word. That's exactly. just and that, as a man, that's all word. you got. Yeah. Exactly, like, you can't be reneging on too much stuff. So bro. it's good that we all have really our whole friend group, not even just us three, but the six that aren't on camera. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They still think they're not gonna put you down. Exactly. Yeah, they help. They help us. Like it would be sometimes like I don't Jair Jair come up pull up to the podcast just to watch you know what I'm saying yeah. support you know what I'm saying like it's like people don't realize that the podcast actually takes more to set up than record like it's a relief yeah. to record this literally bringing stuff from delivering the camera the light the laptop tablecloth all that such a hassle. But once it's all together, it's like yeah, it's like we it's chilling. Just like like, you like know what weights saying? got taken off your shoulder. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And now we could just chill. And, and people don't understand how much time it took to get to this, just exactly. to record and like. And it's, it's only been like less than a month. Yeah, right. it's, it's not, not even like we've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't. But the it's like the prep 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 yeah, like exactly. Like us actually put it in motion. And like, if y'all want to do a podcast and y'all want to start that YouTube channel, please start it. You know what I'm saying? And be consistent. Hop you know what I'm on saying? it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because when you're consistent, people have no choice but to be like, okay. Right. He's consistent. Some Monday people, at three. That's why. Exactly. Monday when at three every when day. We missed, when, we, when, when we missed that. The that kind of that kind of made us mad. Yeah, that kind of. Yeah, it I made kinda, me mad, especially because it took me so t- two days to edit the whole podcast, bro. Mm-hmm. And then rendering it, I was like, why is it going so slow? <laughs> yeah. And I woke up and when it's only at 20%, I said, oh, yeah. Facts. That's what I mean. Control, control what you can control. control. Right. You can't control it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're grateful you. for everybody who came in the premiere and watched it. You know, definitely on the delayed release. Right. But definitely gonna try our best for it to not happen again. I, I'm not gonna say a hiccup like that isn't yeah. gonna come mm-hmm. in the future. It will. But yeah, it will. It's but, just facts. You know. Like, not prepared for thank it. Thank y'all. But <laughs> that whole thing, bro. Like the the time. And the effort, like, I remember, like, telling, telling, like, only one person knew about the podcast other than, like, the group. Mm-hmm. And that was, like, somebody that I was cool with. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Somebody that I was talking to. And, like, it was, like, like when I to, would talk to them, they would be, like, oh, uh, they really, like, they wouldn't see, like, the big significance. Don't right. care. Now, until it's, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now that I put it in motion, like, I'm way, like, this they podcast really is just, like, to me, it's just, like, near and dear to my heart. For, like, sometimes I just think, like, 
What would I be doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Sleeping. I would be sleeping the though, days though, away. I'd probably be on the game. I, I, I would, like, it would just make me a less productive person. Exactly. Right. Like, productive. And this is teaching me business skills, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stuff that I can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maneuver advertisement with. Bro, and like, all that. Like, y- y'all wouldn't think it would be, like, as much as it is, but, like, trying to keep an Instagram story full, you know what I'm saying? It trying is. To, it's a way it's, it's work. It's work. It's work because, you know what I'm saying? Wait, especially we, when people depend on it. Exactly. Like Finsta, nobody yeah, cares if you, you don't do what you want to. Nobody. Now you're like, I yeah. have to do this. <laughs> yeah. like, now it. there's a base that you're feeding. Yeah. That's like your parents not cooking, you yeah. know what I'm saying, for three yeah, days. Exactly. You on your own. You're like, ah! where's the food at? <laughs> Where's the video at, man? Right? It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock and it's Monday. Where's the vid? Yeah. So stuff yeah. like that, bro. That's, that's how some people were when, when we didn't drop it. I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm already like, here. Bro. I'm all like, it was sad, but it's nothing because we still came with the banger. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't watch it, go ahead. Go ahead. Watch that joint it. was <laughs> a banger. That joint was a banger. Fool. I'm going to keep it on. Gotta get on it. And it, it only gets better. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, Facts. So yeah. Improving. So y'all wanted to hear our little top five. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Top five, top five, top five. Top five uh, rappers, top <laughs> five R&B, top five. Matter of fact, top five artists you are listening to right now. This y'all can debate with us in the premiere. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can debate with us. You know what I'm saying? Premiere squad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. Let's let's, let's, let's take a moment. Let's take a moment to take a moment to take a premiere squad. Everybody in the premiere right now. Drop a comment, bro. Yeah, if you watching, drop a comment, fool. We, we love you. We you know we love you for real. Make the chat hype, bro. Say what's good. You know what I'm saying? Do all that. And Nodi Gang. <laughs> if you got the notifications on, Rick, if they got the notification on, they probably premiere. No cap. No cap. So, uh, <laughs> top five. All right. So, I'm so going to start bro. with Reggie. How you feeling? First, feel bro? I, I got to go with an R&B girl. You got to go with my girl, Mariah Carey. She cranked. Right. In 2020? Mariah, Mariah Carey for Hey, y'all, wait, y'all watch we, Wait, wait, wait. Are we going right now of all time? I'm going all time. All time? Oh, all yeah. Time. yeah. All right, so first we got Mariah Carey. Then, I, then, okay. then, okay. then I, I got to throw in a, a 90s rapper. Got to throw my man Biggie. Biggie over Tupac any day. Any arguments? I haven't even listened. Biggie's overrated. Oh my God. I haven't even listened. Right, Biggie's right, overrated. Right, right. Hey, chill with that. I, right. to all I, I said it. Mm-hmm. So Mariah Carey, Biggie. Mariah Carey, Biggie, Raw Wave. Raw Wave was like that. Now, this is your list. We ain't, I ain't even going to yeah, take it. We're going to talk about it after. Raw Wave. Uh, I'm rapper right now. I'm about to go with Drake. Drake got to go in there. Drake. Yeah, it's valid, I guess. And for my last one. Damn. T.D. Rainbow. <laughs> Of yeah. all time, you oh, idiot. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I was, I was trying to think of somebody to do right now. I was trying to think of somebody to do. I think, but, wait, wait, wait. Can it, we just have this would be better right no now? No Savage is the best out the DMV right now. Second is TD. No. Yeah, I, oh, I right now? That. Right now. Or Savage wait, is the best out of the DMV right, right now. Hold on. Rainbow the best out of the DMV could be either Wale, Glizzy, or, um, I don't even listen or, to uh, what's her name? Kudo Fool. No, oh, G Herbo. That's. That's your top five? That's my top five. Let me give y'all a good top five. All right. So, I'm going to have to go with number one, baby. Lil Baby. Oh, Lord. Foles. Baby. Foles. You know baby. what I'm saying? Oh, I forget about Wait, that. number one? Number one. Of all time? I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to just go for like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. I'm going right, to just mix okay, and match. Right. It's not, oh, mine is okay, not oh, really right, being ordered. Oh, right, okay. So, I got baby. You know what I'm saying? All right. Two. I'm going to have to go with, hmm. I'm gonna go with J. Cole. J. Cole, oh, sweet. Hey, a oh, lot sweet. of you people who disrespect J. Cole, you guys don't listen to real rap. And that's facts. They don't listen to real rap. All right, so three, I'm gonna have to go. Hold on, let me check who I've been listening to for real, for real. No, number three of all time, I've had to go Kanye. Kanye, before he lost his mind, was a lyrical mastermind. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Bro. We in it all. We in it all. It's kind of hard, though. Bruh. And then when four. Jesus walks, bro, four, four. I'm gonna go with hmm, hmm. Four. I'm gonna go with Brent Fias of all time, bro. Brent Fias is just oh, a once, bro. Once in a generation, fool. Brent OC, though. Brent is OC, bro. Have you have you known somebody who gave it all for a fantasy? 
bro. I feel like he come on he now. Cool. Brent is just different, fool. He he. I got him. I, I'm gonna keep it a bean, bro. I got him over a lot of R&B artists right now. Like, like yeah. Khalid does. Not nah, Khalid. He's some poo. No nah, he's, he's some poo. He's not a poo, but he he do be cranking. Like no, that that is he's Daniel not better C, than Brent. He's not better than da- Daniel. Frank Caesar, Ocean. Bro. Daniel Caesar, bro. Daniel Caesar. We gonna Daniel have to Caesar get his death. Yeah, he's definitely yeah, not better Caesar than Daniel Caesar. Better, better or Frank than, Ocean. Than uh, Brent Fire. Definitely not better. Frank is OC. Nah, I don't be listening to Frank. So five for that that one song. I'm gonna pick. Five is a hard one, but no, it's not. Roddy, Roddy's coming in at five, bro. That's easy. My all-time list is that's easy. Who I know, I can't even do an all-time list, bro, because I don't listen to music. You know what I'm saying, uh, bro? Listen, Lil to, Wayne, get on that, bro. Though, get Lil on Wayne, but Lil Wayne, that's respectable. Definitely number one on my list. Baby's better than Lil Wayne. No, nope. Lil Baby is not better than Lil Wayne, bro. And that's that's barred. How many platinum? How many platinum titles does Lil Wayne have, bro? A lot, a lot. A lot. A lot. But he's been he in the game longer than Baby. baby but Baby has time. Baby been going crazy. He's been going crazy. Last man, th- last his, three summers been going. Bro, his time is gonna expire in like the next three years. For real. Bar. You can shake you my hand it? right now. I bar. Fifty dollars. I'm a member. Next three years. I'm a up you one hundred fifty. Next three years. I'm telling you, Boy, bro. Dumb. Baby is gonna be gone, fool. He's not gonna be gone, but he's not gonna be how like popping how he is right now. You know how? Because the only person that could really do that is Drake and Lil Wayne. But who hopped on this? Okay, right, never mind. What? Because because you gotta See, think about it, bro. Lil Baby has so many different flows, like from from Catch the Sun. From indeed, and Lil Wayne from, doesn't. Style. From, and Lil from, Wayne doesn't from heating up. Lil from, Wayne doesn't, bro. All I gotta say is when you hear longevity. when you hear when you hear Lil Wayne on Mirror Mirror on the Wall, that little song with Bruno Mars, it, it like, didn't sound like he no, fit. No, it doesn't. It didn't sound so like that's he not fit. his kind of music. That's exactly, not, but, but Lil Baby, Baby can do if it ba- all. If Baby was to go in the country, I'll be cranking country for PF. Yep, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> simple, simple. Rocking a cowboy hat and all that. Lil Wayne. My fake 4PF chain on. Lil Wayne, Lil Baby. No, Lil Wayne, Drake, Lil Baby. Mm, that's valid. Last two valid. <sighs> Dang, bro. It's okay. Take, take your I time. Was, I was about to say Zan, man. Food. Zan in his prime he was actually good. But Zan was in his prime. Zan would be at number five for me. No, actually, no. T.D. Ramo. T.D. Ramo. <laughs> T.D. Crank more than and Zan. Then, <laughs> and then, like... Probably Shy Glizzy. No, Shy Glizzy then T D Ramo. Cause I don't like the way T D Ramo be like rapping over them Sad. sample beats. Yeah. But <laughs> we got any honorable honorable mentions? Honorable mentions. Definitely uh, Zan man. I remember you said Q the fool, but Q has fell off so no, bad. He, he just dropped some new crank, bro. But nobody hit to it. Future. Oh yeah, future. Definitely forgot about. As a matter of fact, bro, take Lil Wayne off. Future and Drake. Whoa, 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 whoa! Future's, future's, future's number one for you. Yeah, bro, what? For me, bro, Tony Martin. <laughs> bro, my honorable mentions are future and Dirk. Hmm. I would like to say my honorable mention from the D. We gonna take one from from all time and one from the DMV. Mm-hmm. All right. So one honorable mention from the DMV, I would say Fat Trail. Wake up, my it's the first of the month. That's an old bro, song. That's though, still bro. crank. Fat Trail, the newest ju- Fat Trail crank. I haven't even heard. Oh, you gotta listen much. to it, bro. You remember yeah. when everybody from the DMV was dropping the uh, Don't Remixes? Yeah. Shabazz, right? bro. All I gotta it's say is money in your shoes. If wait, you my track swag. My, it was not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was not like that. <laughs> It was not like that. It was not like that. DMV honorable mention. Savage. No savage. Yeah. That's respectful. No savage is y'all killing the game right throwback. now. Throwback. Artists like group. New edition. Boys the men better. Hmm. It's facts. Think about it. I mean, I have. I don't gotta think about it. I've I heard, heard new edition better. I've heard like two or three songs uh, from both of them. No like so y'all, true. if y'all bidding me in the comments right now, bro, you gotta understand. For I come from an African household. Oh yeah, put us on some, some some African crank or like Nigerian. I don't know none of the names of the songs, but Just the whole kill is like back then. All I listened to was Lil Wayne mm-hmm. and like Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, other than that, it was just traditional music. Who 
has the best bars in the rap game right now. Baby. 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 All right. Well, I hey, just had to Yeah, baby. baby got but it. all time. All time, who has the best bars? Me. Lil Wayne. Probably Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Or he said, he said, eat her till she cry. Call it wine and dine. Yeah. That was that's, that's sweet. That's low OC bar. That's slight low bar. That's <laughs> OC bar. Slight low bar. Like I don't think nobody can compete with that for real, for real. No, but no. but Biggie? baby, but baby, bro, I feel like Biggie was what's, good. What's baby's like, best bar for real, bro. It's too many, bro. It's too many. If Demar ain't watching the premiere, yeah, Demar ain't gonna drop. If Demar, if Demar is watching, yeah, the Demar is gonna, is gonna, gonna say so. He's definitely like definitely like bro, four PFS. I don't know, bro. Mm. Gotta be some from Cash. Oh, yeah. my honorable mention is gonna be uh, from not the DMV. Is gonna be Gunna. Gunna. Spending oh my di- god, bro, spending addiction. Gunna is such literally a got me through the oh whole tenth grade, bro. Like, if you knew me in tenth grade while I was at St. Charles, all I did was really like listen to music. I didn't really like talk to nobody for real, for real. And if mm. you saw me, I was like listening to music. It was always spending addiction. Like it just it just got me through so much, bro. And I and I, I can I really can't say this for no other artist, but like I don't like gonna really touches a like a touches certain soul, part of my soul yeah, just bro. Be like tapping you, bro. Like spinning the digit ten thousand on shoes. That mm. what's your favorite? So your mm. favorite song by Gunna is spinning the digit. Yes. What about you? Eddie Diana. Eddie Diana. Diana. Yeah, Michael Jackson bad. bad. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. Gotta be top, bro. Top, top off. After the oh, top yeah, off, yeah, yeah. bro, I just feel like spinning <laughs> like, addiction is just like a mix after of the like top off, top off, and, and just like that natural yeah. gun of that slime. That's like he really brought that slime season. What's that new song? Dollars on my head, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, that joint. Yeah, right. I definitely, bro. I, I feel like as if like gonna oh, really don't miss. Did you hear about that whole thing with gonna? Where they was trying to shame him for being fat. He's not even he's fat. He's not even dude. fat. Like, <laughs> like bro. You like, saw the picture that you posted, yeah. like, standing in front of his like, Lamborghini hey, or whatever. Hey. He ain't even look fat. Hey, me. I got a question. All right, so now that we, we I think this is going to be the last one because we job running over time. I mean, that's good, bro. All right, but by sure? the time we edit it, it's going to be like 40 minutes. Bro. All right, bet. So, who is the drippiest rapper in the game right now? I'm going with Gunner. Y'all going to say, oh, somebody's going to say Lil Baby, bro, but his, sometimes his fits be throwing me. I don't like them. Like, he got all them VVs on, but, like, the jeans, bro, he be wearing fat jeans, fool. It just be, like, it be throwing me off a little bit, fool. But I got, I respect the drip. Ooh, I feel like, but once Gunna, you get Gunna got the best drip. Gunner has the best drip, bro. When he was talking about them fear guys, man. I'm so fear guy, man. Either Gunner or Dirk. Dirt. 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 Dirt dressed like he's still in Chirac. Dirt dressed like he's still in Chirac, bro. I feel as if, like, bro, some of these rappers, bro, when they say, when they think they got drip, it really don't be drip. It's expensive stuff. It's just expensive right, it's just stuff. You know what I'm saying? Expensive stuff. Like, I feel like that's another thing, bro. You don't really have to spend a whole band on clothes to look good, bro. In no certain count. cases. I mean, quality I is quality. is the difference between quality and, like, and, like, the, the quality being the difference in the money you pay uh-huh. and di- just paying a whole bunch of money. Exactly. Like a Miri jeans. If I see a Miri jeans and I see some packs. Miri's look just like Diesel. Yes. No cut. For real. For real. They, they, I feel like a lot of them look the same. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the only the only jeans that like stand out probably Robin. But nobody I, I know None of them like, jeans yeah. You talking about I only I wear American, like American Eagle these Fetty Wap crazy, These crazy like Colorful jeans With like jewels on them oh. Bro Fetty Wap Used to be oh, r- yeah. uh, Rapping about them Oh he, yeah, yeah, My Robin bro. jeans yeah. <laughs> Wait 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 wait. <laughs> Who fell yeah. off <laughs> Who had the biggest fall off Probably Fetty Wap Ooh, I would say no. Lil Pump no, Nah Lil no, Pump was, uh, You saw Lil Pump's like Fall coming Before yeah. it even happened bro Cause his like Fetty style just of, stopped rapping. His style yeah. of rapping was just so like hype beast, bro. That's when yeah. everybody wanted Facts. Supreme and all that, Facts. Bape and all that. Bro, now nobody wears it, so he's useless. I mean, people wear Bape. I feel like I'm gonna keep it a bean. In middle school, everybody was fiending for it. That for fake like, Bape. Everybody had the same fake Bape. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, I ain't even touch Bape. I ain't have it. I ain't touch none of that. But I was about to become a finesse, bro. I made it shave the way, best way I knew how. I'm gonna keep it honest. Oh, man. Yeah. I would say Blueface, but Blueface wasn't hard in Fetty Wap though. Whoa, Blueface did Blueface not. Blueface still hasn't fallen off low Blueface key. Blueface is like that. Blueface is him. 
What's that dance? Ah, yeah. Ah, Mr. Magomed. Is that him? <laughs> Is that him, bro? Uh, no, I That's not him. him. <laughs> I don't think so. The one bro. I'm Mr. Baggett. That's not his song, fool. No, that's not him. That's not him. It's just like the joints you be seeing on TikTok. That's I don't think so. I think that's just like some dude. I don't know, bro. No, that's him, fool. I'm Mr. Baggett. I don't, yes. I don't know I, who that is. I sound like him though. It, it sounds all I gotta say, like him, bro. Bro, all I gotta say is my man said, "Shoot the club up." I ain't tell her I was coming. Wait, who? Blueface. Like, uh, I don't, bro. I don't be listening to the Blueface bar. Like Blueface is OC, bro. Wait, what's your favorite bar? Period by any rapper, bro. I know I got mine. I don't, have I don't really got I don't one. Have one. It's just like I got here. Like it's, it'd be some bars that like you hear it, bro, and then you just got pause. And be like, run that back, bro. bro. I'm trying. <laughs> my Drake, bro. My favorite. Y'all might climb me for this by Zaman, bro. Mm-hmm. He said, "You ate off my plate. It was Thanksgiving." Every, <laughs> That's not an every, OC everybody bar. ate, including my siblings. Oh, 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 oh. That's an OC finish, finish bar. Finish 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 okay, finish yeah, that was a that, that was a good bar. That was a good bar. That was a good bar. But I feel as if baby, bro, baby, all has his songs, songs are captions, bro. All his songs. <laughs> if bro. we take off now, we can catch the song for us. Man, I feel as if like the people who listen to Young Boy. Religiously and try to hype his head up. Young boy's good. Nah, young boy. Young is boy good, is good. Though. You gotta give right. him his credit. He's definitely good. But the way that people hype him up, bro, it's like I ain't never heard an OC yeah, bar from young boy. Facts. I don't want to young boy. I don't want to hear about Sharonda. I ain't Who never heard about Sharonda. Who care about Nene? What's a good, what's a good bar? It's a good bar, bro. bro. I ain't never hey, make no sense. Make like no sense that? is not a bar. It's, it's just a vibe. vibe. It used to be vibe. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, like, you, just, no you listen to Young Boy when you're about to pull up to a fight and you don't know if you're gonna win or not. Nah, I listen to Young Boy just cool at any time. You, I mean, you crazy. You crazy. I bet like you Air Force. Black Air Force. Yeah, Black, Black Air, Air Force. Force. Nah, bro. I don't be. I mean, sometimes. Nah, I honestly don't listen to any like of his hype music. Mm-hmm. I believe like Valuable Pain, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, like his slow songs. I listen to um. One song I do like by Young Boy is um, Akbar. But that, that, it's a pretty good song. That mm-hmm. one, that one I listened to a little bit in tenth grade, and it was like um, that helped me get through a little bit. It, it, it wasn't, it wasn't really. Eh, it was mid. I feel like, dang, bro, what's my favorite song by Cud? I don't even know. My favorite song right now gotta be, what is it? What's the song by Future? Don't get too comfortable. Oh. Either don't get too comfortable or comfortable. I don't know what it's called. Too bro. comfortable. And yeah, it's, it's in listen, my phone at the top, bro. Bro, when you listen to that song, you just gotta listen like this. Because when a king talks talk, talks his talk like that, bro, <laughs> I feel like Future has really, to, to be honest, bro, Future is real life toxic, bro. Yeah, his kids, bro. Top tier toxic. Oh my, bro. I feel as if like I I be joking around, but like what he was saying and too comfortable was actually like for real, for real. Like you we're can't get no games. you can't get too comfortable with nobody, bro. Because once you do that, bro, yeah, then they start they start they start, they start, they start moving, slithering, man. they start moving different. Food. Just don't get too gun. Mm, not me, they not me. But yeah, any other stuff that he be saying, bro, like. You gotta take that with a grain of salt, cause I can't be listening in the future about relationship problems, and he the one, <laughs> he, he, he the one Dog over here him. talking. Exactly, like, like his T songs be cranking. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I saw, I saw a snippet. Really the future. Plug, really he was all like plug. Gucci bucket hat, Gucci but I was like, yo, this joint is trash. <laughs> like y'all gotta admit, like you know what I'm saying? Like can we, can we, am, like your your favorite rapper isn't your favorite rapper until you admit he has missed, he or she has missed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why yeah, little baby definitely miss. J. Cole misses. J. Cole's your favorite rapper? One of my favorite ra- But one person who don't miss? Roddy Rich. Hasn't missed. Name one time Roddy Rich has missed. Name one bad song by Roddy Rich. I feel like Rod Waves needs to make that needs to make that song, bro. I'm in the middle of party with it. Bro, he did, bro. It just bro, trash. I know, but he needs to redo like it, remake that joint, it bro, like bro, with his new style. That joint. Cranks food, it be touching me right here, bro. I mean, have y'all ever had a song? Like, I feel like 
The only song that really can give me hype, change my mood from like zero to one hundred, mm-hmm. is Bandit. Yeah, when young boy pop, hey, I'm gonna keep it a beat. Yeah. When young boy pop, I hope it, I open up a can with it. I'm really fucking check out when you get hey, I'm not gonna he lie. Go to you. He go crazy. He go crazy. I give you that. I give you that. Bro, there's a whole bunch of songs like coming up the DMV, like bro, rap, rap ish by T D Rainbow. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. joint get me mm-hmm. right all yeah. the time. Yeah, T T D is definitely <laughs> T D is definitely like top, top two, top five, <laughs> top five, and he's not four. He's not three. But, bro, He's not two. Y'all keep oh, on jazzing the two, song. Two, two. Y'all keep on jazzing the song that's like, bro. I'm falling. Yeah. Let's crank that. Legend, 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 legend is legend is all right, but that's man. like legend is more like a young boy type of. Uh huh. Like, that's what that gave me. I'm not like if, if I was to listen to young boy, I listen to young boy. You know what I mean? I can't listen to TD Rainbow cry, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, all I gotta say is Ramo fool. He the only person in the DMV that stayed with the fresh cut in every music video, man. No cap. You see the chalk on his joint every <laughs> time, bro. He be, he be getting right, bro. We forgot about Baby Fitty, fool. Oh, Baby Fitty's man. Nah. He crazy, but he not my type. He fell five, off, man. bro. Yeah, yeah bro. I think Baby Fitty you fell off, bro. Baby oh, Fitty was the oh, the prelude to TD Ramo. Basically, basically. Oh, did you peep? Um, Lil Uzi was listening to Baby Fitty. Nah, I, I, I ain't that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Uzi was listening <laughs> to Baby. Um, I think it was um, it wasn't one of his popular. Drinks. I don't know. I, don't I think know. it was one of the popular uh, drinks, bro. I, I don't. I really, I really think that like, be thinking I can't get sometimes, bro. Like, what separates TD Rainbow and No Savage from like the other DMV artists? It's just that their words, stuff. their word, their wordplay, and the fact that they can relate it back to you know what I'm saying. To real life. Like I can say, like I can say, I've, I've, me and you have both made like little we have cr- snippets, no, little, little snippets, not even little snippets. These are full songs. <laughs> we have about. made full songs, right? I can and drop we can, a mixtape right now. Uh, yeah, we can, we can make, about. we can make half of the stuff that a lot of these DMV rappers mm-hmm. make. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about a whole bunch of stuff that we are not doing, but the fact that TD. And no savage can, you know what I'm saying? Talk about that. Relate it to it and have wordplay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I, that's what I think separates them. But, like, Baby 50 is just standard. Slime Goon yeah. is pretty decent. Slime Goon, Slime, oh, Slime, yeah. yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty good. He's not him. pretty decent. It's just, like, when you want to listen to that, like, just I don't care kind of music, yeah. bro. When you can't get a jungle. I'm gonna pound the bus. Like, bro. Yeah, front front line. He's OC. Front bro. line is definitely pretty good. <laughs> so I got a I got a, I got a question for y'all. What's so up? 2016 was obviously the year of music, right? Oh yeah. I got a question that if I mean, Lord Jesus. Let me let me collect my thoughts real quick. All right. So 2016 was obviously the year of music, right? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And it, especially for the DMV, we had some good music in 2016. No cap. What song are you picking in, from 2016? From everybody or the DMV? For just the DMV right now. Oh, Bro, yeah, it yeah. gotta be. What's that one song by Shabazz Fool? I need, need it. it. No, no, not I need it. Bro, he was in the club. Fuck, 16. All right, that's the year I lost my brother. What, bro? What's that song, fool? I'm talking about I'm just saying. All I gotta say is Man, linebacker. I'm gonna find it. Linebacker. Yeah. Linebacker. Linebacker is no, OC. I'm going, I'm going bald by Dirty Hunter. Baby just wanna go yeah, ball. Uh, ball. I was ball. in the ball. mall. Yeah. Y'all yeah, might think I'm cap right now, but my man, my man, um, my brother's man knows uh Dirty Hunter. I don't get back in the booth. Bro, Dirty Hunter needs to get back in the booth. Bentley Coop, bro. Oh, oh. Take an Uber to the dough with you. Take it. Now she's stuck with me. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The shower tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to crank that joint as soon as this joint's over. Yeah, I can. If I can. Shot, you know, I'm <laughs> it ain't not for I'll bleep it out. I'll bleep it out. Alright. <laughs> but yeah. That joint crank. That yeah. is, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's definitely I got a question, man. What's up? Who's the king of the DMV? I'm talking yeah. all time. King of the DMV. All time. Uh, Glizzy. 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 Yeah. I want see how I made it the farthest. I would say, but people don't give Wale enough <coughs> credit, bro. I people, don't listen no, to people Wale. do not give Wale, Wale. but he don't make music for us no more, bro. bro. So he's not even. I know he made he album. made that little album. It's like him and Roddy Rich have like this same drop pattern. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But Wale, bro, 
I feel like there's just some t- songs by Wale that are just timeless. Bruh. Like Ice Pineapples. Lotus Flower Bomb. Lotus Flower Bomb. Bruh. Like, is it bad? That, like, come on now. Bro, like, we gotta bro, we gotta resonate. Bro, I'm, I'm telling second. you, fool, like, <laughs> it's just too much. It's like people do not give Flower Wale bomb. enough. Can I guess credit? Your favorite phrase? Exactly, bro. <laughs> like when you say That's Glizzy, like, are you saying Glizzy and I'm saying Wale. I'm going Glizzy. No, nah, Glizzy. Yeah, Glizzy. I feel like too, bro. I but feel like Glizzy makes stuff for more of the Wale hood has scene. A, Wale but, has a lot of good features. Yes, I think that's because Lotus Flower Bomb is. I don't think it carry. Feature. I don't think he gets carried by his features though. No, he doesn't. He def- Wale definitely holds his own. Pineapples is an OC feature. Mm-hmm. Rick Ross killed that joint. Call me crazy, at least you call me. <laughs> Feels better when you let it. Bro, come on come now. Why is he gonna get caught? But it's like when you listen, when you li- like at the beginning, like a lot of people skip the beginning of like Wale's mm-hmm. part. Cause he like, be, he be chatting, he bro. Did, he did he did chat he did chat he always but, chats. But bro. if you listen to like the the real like part, mm-hmm. I was all like, oh, like if you say that to your girl, bro, a, your girl a, would literally like, I'm gonna like, fly you to the moon and I'm gonna bring you right back. Then I'm gonna uh, turn you around, flip you over, and uh, <laughs> make a sandwich and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, ba- that's basically what he said. That's basically and what he said. And I ain't talking about no fruit, baby. But that's yeah. That's to get back to it. That's basically what he said. But I'm telling you, like, if you, Fine, if you, if like your girl didn't know Wale and you said some stuff from from Wale, your girl would literally fall in love with you. Nah, she gonna call you cheesy. No, she gonna mm-hmm. fall in love with you, bro. Are oh, you champ? No, I know. Champ. If my girl call me champ, you false. <laughs> You're not my girl no more. A DMV joint is gonna say you for us. Bro, I'm, I'm keeping a hundred. If my girl didn't know who Wale was, and I spit her some Wale jazz, <laughs> that's that OC that's jazz. That's free game, bro. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, man. You know what I'm Hope saying? Hope you liked it. About this one's probably about to be like an hour long, like a true hour. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and what I need y'all to do, actually, I don't think we've ever asked this before. Drop a topic in the comment section below yeah, yeah, that you yeah. want to see us or hear us talk about. You know what I'm saying? So we got y'all for the next one. Facts. Or y'all can get active on the Instagram. You know what I'm saying? The group. The, 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 the group podcast. podcast. Jamari's folding, man. So <laughs> we going to have to carry him. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment. You all the nine yards, bro. Yes, and sir. On that note, get on that cup.